worth off the Shetland Islands ten years ago. What did it crash? No, we shot it down. It violated our airspace. Then we stripped it bare. The weapon that destroyed the Sycorax on Christmas Day? That was us. Now, if you'd like to come with me. The Torchwood Institute has a motto. If it's alien, it's ours. Anything that comes from the sky, we strip it down and we use it. For the good of the British Empire. For the good of the what? The British Empire. There isn't a British Empire. Not yet. Please welcome Tracy Ann Oberman. <laughs> Do you like that music? She's just a devil, devil woman. woman. Oh, that plays you. Like it was written for me. <laughs> do you enjoy all the juicy roles that come I do. your way? I do. I like them. I get to play very sort of complex. You know, are they villains? Are they not? Are they victims? Mm. Villains? Tell us about this new one. She's a sexy yeah. minx. Oh well, uh, Frida Lawrence, uh, married to D. H. Lawrence, uh, is a very interesting character. She was, um, she she met D. H. Lawrence, the, this sort of very uh, charismatic writer. Three weeks after meeting him, she walked out on her three children and her husband in Nottingham, went off and lived with him traveled around the world. Uh, they had a very passionate relationship. They were sort of beating each other up one minute and then making passionate love on the lawn in front of all their sort of neighbors and friends. I mean, it was a crazy relationship. Sounds really like crazy. Lost, it? <laughs> Does it you know, we've all been there. And, but she, but she was, um, you know, they were absolutely bound like this. And she was, she was, she was a German countess and she was just uh, way ahead of her time. She was, you know, sort of very open and she should have been born in the 60s. She was, you know, sex for everybody, sex at all times, you know, being Did it greatest. last? This yes, it did. I mean, they were always leaving and coming back together, but... Uh, she never got back with her children. She never, she never did, but yeah. she, she saw the, old, the older ones. Uh, the, the baby uh, came to see her, I think, when she was about 16, 17, but she never really regained her relationship, her relationship with, with But the it's kids. her relationship with D.H. Lawrence, and the play is centred around two months that they had in Cornwall, where they invited their best friends, Catherine Mansfield and her, and her partner, who was, a, who was a writer, to come and live with them. And after two weeks, they started to loathe each other, because they were terribly English and prim and sort of couldn't talk about sex at all. And the Lawrences were there, sort of like fighting and <laughs> smashing crockery over. It sounds like it's London. <laughs> it um, and uh, <laughs> and it, it's like, it was, it's a sort of a play that's based on truth, like going away on, you know, mm. a weekend with your best friends, and halfway through thinking, I can't stand, stand them. these people. <laughs> I can't stand them. And it was all true, so it's a, it's a very good play. Rave reviews. It's done very well, yeah. And it's written by Maureen Lippman's daughter, yes, isn't it? Yes, Amy, Amy yeah. Good on her. It's a yeah. really good play. It sounds great. Yeah. Are you like the character at all? Are you a bit oh, it's non-stop like that. Oh, I can imagine. <laughs> so. no. You sort of strike me that way. No, <laughs> no. I found it, you know, Frida was so, uh, she was, you know, and also she was very sunny Frida, so he used to insult her and literally be sort of threatening her with a bottle and she'd be laughing, going, oh, he loves me, really. <laughs> she was, um, no, I'm not. I think I'm a lot more suppressed. But you got married and had your daughters. It all kind of happened very quickly, but it did, did and a rather wonderfully. In about a year, yes, yeah. I did. I never thought I'd get married. It was of no interest to me at all. And then I did. I got see? married. You see? Oh, see, we're telling Dawn. Jane. She's going down there. No, no, telling you. Never know. No, I no, never no. did. I always used to think, no. I, I, just, we do that, don't we? Go for the throat. Yes. Which is usually what your husbands do. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Every husband I've ever had on stage in recent, uh, television recently has gone for my throat. But yeah, um, but I did, so did it. did all happen. I never thought I'd just be there. And it's, that's, that's the best thing of all, you know, all professional success is lovely. But I think personal happiness yeah. sort of is, cements um, it all. And is it? that because you've bought him a shed? He <laughs> has a metaphorical <laughs> shed. Has he? We had a garden big enough. I'd give him a shed, but he has his own little office, little studio space. Oh, and he drums. Shed. He's a musician. He drums and oh. plays the guitar. Oh. It's always good for him to have a I shed. I think it's great if you've got a drummer in a shed. Do you? <laughs> She's got a drummer in a shed. It's wonderful, isn't it? They disappear for 14 know. hours Definitely. at a time. Days, weeks go by. Oh, no, it's <laughs> great. Oh, it's brilliant. It is that rhythm from yes. the deep. It's like, do the drums and your dinner's ready. Yes. <laughs> it's absolutely, yeah. Do you have a metaphorical shed? I would like to have a little bit of his shed because it's our, it was our shared office until it became the drumming the music room. Right. Um, but no, I don't think women get a shed. I get a corner of the kitchen. kitchen yeah. Yes. That's all it's we nice have. Yeah. Yeah. This role that you've got now, she, you said she's a German countess. Wasn't the last time you were, you were on here, you were playing a German lady. <laughs> but playing the German air hostess, Gretchen in Boeing, in Boeing, Boeing yeah. slightly different type of, a lot more corset wearing in, uh, in this one. And is it's set in 19. 16. Is it is, is this sort of a path that you're going down Germans. deliberately? <laughs> Not German. <laughs> no. I'm not even German. No, but the uh, theatre. I mean, yes, I love theatre. It's yeah. brilliant, and I, I really, really have enjoyed it. And I, I've got a little one. She's I mean, you know, not even two, and it's been so lovely. And to, for me to be at the Hampstead Theatre, which is around the corner to where I live, it, I get to be with her all day. And I just yeah. hop down there. It's been great. And it's a lovely theatre. I am enjoying theatre at the moment. 
And we can share, uh, you and I, we, Doctor Who. <gasps> Doctor Who? Yes, because you're a lifelong fan, yeah. and I was in a whole series of them. <gasps> well, it's so a bit jealous. forgotten, that, really. But, How uh, yes. was that? Who was the Doctor? I think I'll just tell you all about it. Um, yeah. Yeah, no, Who I was, was the Inquisitor doctor? with, do with, uh, with um, Colin Baker. Oh, oh, oh really? Yes, Ooh. and I Colin walked Baker. on in the first yeah. episode with a big Tom hat. Baker. Tom Baker? No, Colin no, Baker Colin. played it oh, for a series. And I sat down in this big courtroom, and I stayed there then for the whole of the 13 episodes, and in the last episode, I got out and walked out again. They just bought you your lunch there. Yes, yours was a bit better, I felt, a bit more glamorous. No, I oh, that's great. But it's exciting, isn't it, when you do something that you've always admired from afar? Yeah. It's great to be in it. Absolutely. Do you think you'll get up when you get asked back? I don't know. Every so often I sort of speak to Russell and say, look, it's a parallel universe. She could come back. And she was a cyber woman. But I know I'd love to. So now, because you're at the theatre, obviously your eating habits are a bit of a nightmare, isn't it, when you're at the theatre? Do you ever frequent a greasy spoon? Um, uh, uh, do I yes, there is one around the corner where is we were there? going in rehearsal. Do you like them? I don't mind them. I used to like them a lot more when I used to go out on the, on the, t on the tiles a bit, you know. Mm. Oh, with a hangover. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Nothing like a fryer. So do you prefer a latte or a cup of tea? These days I'm more of a latte, but I oh, do yeah. like a, a square, you know, do you with like a, a cafe. cake? Oh, I do love a tea oh, cake. Yes, sir. Can you get a tea cake? Though? They do bloat cakes. one out, don't they? They do, but it's <laughs> <a> marvellous. <laughs> I do like a tea cake. Better than those posh biscuits. <clears throat> Colleen's going to start mm. a bit of a campaign on the next tea cake. I think a yeah. toasted tea cake. Our next sandwich board is bring back tea cakes. <laughs> <laughs> so now listen, you're at the Hampshire Theatre and yes. it's a run uh, until. It's, uh, at the moment, it's running until the end of July. And right, then we'll see end what of July. With on the rocks. Thank you so much for joining us today. Such a pleasure. Tracy Ann Oberman, everybody. <laughs> well, that's almost your lot for today, but before we go, we've heard her chat. Now it's time to hear her sing here with Will You Love Me from the album Funk This. Put your hands together, please, for the fabulous Shaka Khan. <laughs>